Tonight, efforts to curb teenage crime in Eastern Independence have some people cheering victory. One year ago, they were screaming at police demanding help. What changed? Larry Seward explains. Hey, Larry. Hey, Elizabeth. Behind me, this is cell phone video taken outside Claremont Elementary last August. At the time, neighbors said police were ignoring teenage gang problems. Tonight, we hear a much different story. Hold on. On this playground in a park she and her family adopted... Wait. Tina Wyatt Rockers brings her granddaughter here to play without fear. A year ago here, uh, it wasn't safe to come to the park and uh, definitely wasn't safe to come to school, I felt. This cell phone video from last August is a sample of the kind of no-holds-barred fighting neighbors saw often. With violence came vandalism and concerns about neighborhood gangs. Those concerns reached Independence Police. Uh, we've had an influx of officers that are out there. Uh, we're limited, but we're able to move uh, from different units out into that area to help uh, suppress some of the issues we had out there. Despite some manpower issues, police ramped up patrols for two months. They lowered a zero-tolerance dragnet around Claremont Park. Officers stopped cars, questioned 24 people, and made a number of arrests, including a juvenile with past gang affiliation. Now there are surveillance cameras watching and a locked gate protecting the playground. As a result, no fighting. Rocker says her neighbor Neighborhood watch group grows each month. I think people finally today have stepped up and, uh, you know, they're not as scared. The community, the school, you know, uh, Parks and Rec, uh, they've all made a change and put, the, put an effort in. It's effort still needed because there are still problems, but at least one grandmother feels it's safe enough to play in peace. And again, despite those manpower limitations, police plan continued patrols in that area. They manage by shifting officers around. Officials say it's a strategy they use in problem areas all over the city of Independence. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.